Hey everyone, welcome back to AWS Cast. This is Intermediate AWS. Today we're talking about VPCs with public and private subnets. As a quick overview, this is the architecture that we're going to be creating. Here we go. Once the VPC has been successfully created, you should see a screen that looks something like this. It says it's been successfully created. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of security groups. Now these security groups will control access uh, between the security groups will grant us access to our, our what we have our public subnets and also uh, restrict access or grant access to the private subnet from the public subnet right so communication between these two subnets we want to happen but traffic flowing into the public internet should only be allowed to communicate with the public subnet not the private subnet so the way that we'll do that, uh, go to scroll down and hit security groups, create new security group. So let's just say um, public security group. Uh, it's always better to name things nicely, but I'm trying to do this fast. Um, so you create a, a public security group and then we'll create a private security group. Make sure that the selected VPC is yours. Um, when your your AWS account by default has a has a default VPC, where you're using the new one. All right. So now we've created the public and private security groups. So we're going to go in, and we'll do the public security group first. So we want to allow trap. We want to allow SSH traffic for administrative purposes and the source will be all traffic right uh, we want to allow traffic from anywhere Sorry, that should be a zero and then we will also allow HTTP traffic this is the other way that we're going to demonstrate uh, our access is available right so source means we're zero all zeros in the source means that we're going to allow traffic uh, from anywhere so we'll save that the next thing we want to do is create this private security group uh, the private the security group for this private subnet and we're going to specify that we only want to allow traffic from the public subnet uh, to test this we're going to use both SSH and HTTP. Hopefully that will become a little bit more clear once uh, I, I give you a little bit more to go on. So we're going to select our private security group on inbound rules. We want to allow SSH from this public security group. See how that popped up there? And then same thing, uh, we want to allow HTTP from that same public security group, right? So we should not allow traffic uh, from the external internet or, or any other subnet for that matter. So we'll hit save there. 